Last week, I got an email from an NSA speaker who said, is it unethical or illegal to just take pictures from the internet? I mean, I find some great pictures there and I right click, copy, paste and put them into my PowerPoints or my content because I'm educating people. And the assumption was in some form or fashion that being in the education business, you got to pass. Well, the easy question or easy answer to that question was, it's illegal, you'll get fined, it's a copyright violation. And the reality of it is, I educate people, but I do it for money. So it's a business enterprise and I don't get a pass. How do we get pictures that are safe? Ah, that's where now AI comes in. Now there's two practical ways. Way number one is go buy them. So Chuck, what if I don't want to have to actually pay for my pictures? Let AI create them. Now, I was introduced to the whole concept of mid-journey by my son, and he told me about it, and I was like, I don't understand what you're talking about. I mean, it makes no sense. And the next thing I know, I'm finding out it's amazing what you can create with words. If you're looking to create images, especially if you're looking for something eh, somewhat unique or a little out of the ordinary, but if you're looking to create some images, one of the easiest and coolest ways is to create something that is totally unique that nobody else has the opportunity to buy. So let's take a moment and look at some ideas of what actually can be created. David Mines is an NSA speaker who does some amazing work on health and wellness and well-being. So I thought, well, it would be interesting to see what Midjourney would create if David wanted a slide that showed fresh veggies in a supermarket. So I went in and these are the words I typed, fresh veggies in a supermarket, comma, hyper-realistic in a 16 by nine ratio, which is a typical PowerPoint ratio. Now notice on the screen, there are four options that Midjourney created based upon the words I put in. I kind of looked at it and said, well, gee, I think I like the, the bottom left. So what if then Midjourney would upscale that so it would be a little more realistic in something David could use? And here's the outcome. Now for me, this is a slide that no one else in the universe has. And the interesting side to it is I would probably put it in Canva, maybe have two or three words on the screen to illustrate the point. And now I have created a unique slide that literally I own the rights to. It was kind of funny because Jane Jenkins Herlong was literally here in the studio and knowing that she was coming in, I decided to play around a little bit with one of the stories that is actually going to be featured in a new demo video that she's creating. One of the things she does is she tells this amazing story of going to visit some relatives and she describes it as um, a, a southern front porch of an old house with two old women who were sitting uh, talking. And so I typed this into Midjourney and thought, let's see what this would look like. Imagine it from the side, I said. And what else do I want to add to this? Uh, without uh, having to uh, see the faces, at least see the faces up close of the old women talking. And so, and I said, oh, by the way, and it's also in the spring. So at this point in time, I made sure that it was set at a 16 by nine ratio. And I've asked Midjourney to create that image. Now, the video that you're seeing, it takes a minute. Midjourney uh, starts that process of thinking through it. And now what you're going to see is the outcome from that. Now you're seeing these blurred images initially, but Midjourney AI is creating its impression of what I ask for. And you're starting now to see the image literally come to life, okay? And, and as it moves through the process, it becomes clearer and clearer. And you know what, I'm fascinated by this because it's like, huh, this is actually, it's actually pretty good. 
it's interesting that Jane has a story and we're able to bring that story to life. Now you see the four images, right? And then I said, well, you know, I kind of like the third image. That's the one that feels more like Jane's story. So let's upscale that. And now you see the story. Now, Jane was in the studio the next day. And I said, Jane, let me show this to you. And she looked at that. I can hear her right now. Shut up. What? Oh, my gosh. There's Cousin Wee Wee and Aunt Fanny. I mean, God, what names, right? But Jane's story is amazing, but literally, Midjourney created for her, out of the ethers, an image of exactly what she remembers seeing as a child. If you want royalty-free um, uh, imagery, an imagery that is really yours, something that is unique, let me suggest Dolly or Midjourney, but two great AI resources where you can create uh, visual imagery that is going to be something that will make you stand out.